Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, One Mom Plus Three TV. And today, this is gonna be a long process. I don't have a lot of time for uh, recording it and um, cleaning my super, super, super messy kitchen. And you guys get to see it with me. I'm gonna be showing you at the end, well at the end, I'm going to be showing you guys before and after picture. And um, you guys let me know if I did a good job cleaning my kitchen. I think it'll look pretty snazzy. So um, I'm not going to take long because like I said, this is going to be a long video. And um, I'm going to be pausing it here and there because I have a lot of stuff to do. Besides, uh, I'm trying to get it done before... Um, my kids come home because I want to cook dinner. And we have some movies that we're going to be watching. And I bought these movies for a dollar. This is American Girl Doll that I want to watch with my youngest daughter. Um, her name is Samantha. And this American Girl Holiday 10th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. And it says, Be Forever. Be Forever? Okay, but that's number one, and that's for me. I want to just have a time where, um, well, I think I might watch it with all the girls. I want to make it all special, but I want it, it to be for my youngest. And then for the two older girls, um, I want it to do Glee. And... Um, it's like a singing Christmas type thing. I want to get, oops, I want to get into the Christmas spirit, and then later on for myself after the kids go to bed, I'm gonna be watching this comedy. It's called Mike and Dave, and I got all these movies for a dollar from um, the dollar store. So if you don't know that dollar store sell movies, and it's the 99 cent only store. They sell movies. Check it out. Also, um, I was at um, the 99 only store today. And they had a whole, everything that was Halloween theme was for free. So, I got three lanterns. Um, I got a skull. And I think that was it. Because that was the only thing that looked it cute. You know, that you can... You know, swap out the glass and make it year-round. Halloween come around, you can pop back in those Halloween decor glasses. You know, the frame that goes around it. So, I was thinking about some DIY with that. Also, I bought me a portable sewing machine. It cost me $5. Um, so, I repaired my daughter's pants before I came on here. And I'm trying to get into, um, you know, that house mom type thing but it does get a little hard I'm not gonna lie so I have on my apron today um I needed some new gloves for washing the dishes and I needed some more um what do you call these um soap pads scrubbing pads so I got some of those. Also, um, if you guys, who was it? I think that was on my Instagram because they seen these in my kitchen and they're like, are those pot holders or what? No, they're not pot holders. Um, these I use as dish towels. These were baby towels, um, baby washcloths, and they're like, I don't, I can't describe the material. It's not microfiber, but it's like, um, a real, um, it's almost like a wash towel, but thicker and softer. So, um, that's why I got the scrubbing pads and I use, um, a lot of these and I have them and I've been having these for years. So I always wash them every, like every two to three days. I try and keep them like really looking good and, um, clean so yeah that's what I have and um what else 
Oh, and I just had to get um, some new um, dish soap. This is in uh, Caring Lemon and Rose Scent. Delicious. So, hold on. I need to make my dish water and let's get started. Okay, so. Don't judge. Yes. This stuff is uh, really dirty. Got my towel. So, I am wearing gloves because um, using dish soap makes my hands really dry. And um, so, after I'm done using this, I like to use a, um, hand soap, antibacterial ripe melon. Um, yeah, and it just makes, like, a lot of times I don't use gloves. So, I always use um, the hand soap. So, let's pre-soak the dishes, like so. I always just toss them all in. No fash or form. Just put them in the sink. Like so. And let me find my towel in here somewhere. Okay. So I like to just pump two pumps into my towel and um, work it into um, a soapy towel like that. And then, um, you know, just wash the dishes really good. And then I'm gonna show you how I do um, for tough on um, stuck on dishes. Try to get all this stuff washed and cleaned. This water smells so good. Like, you guys don't understand. Sometimes I just dip the towel into the uh, water. And it smells so good. And I could just smell it in my face, like the way it is. Dip it. It's still really soapy. So, even though you made like soapy dishwater, you don't have to use a lot of soap. Like, it's still soapy. Can you see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but even dipping it into the water, it still remains uh, soapy. So, and that's just a technique I like to do to save on uh, cutting, I mean, save on using so much dish soap. You can wash quite a few dishes on uh, two pumps, you know. And it's not concentrated or um, anything like that. So pretty much what you see is what you get. And... Um, with it, um, you're saving like a lot of money. You can even cut it in half. It'll still be good. I I choose. I I sometimes I do. Um, sometimes I'll cut it. Um, like I'll have extra bottles on hand, and um, I would cut it to about here, and then. Um, to remove the rest of it and cut it about here and then I'll add like some um, what do you call that um, oh my god um, I'll add like water um, 
like powdered laundry soap to it and um, like some vinegar or something and it's still sudsy like this is a soap that I use to wash dishes it still comes out really sudsy now you guys see how I put that into there like that and I wash it in the water look at that still sudsy it's crazy huh so let me take this glove off I'm gonna wash these dishes and I'll come back when all of the dishes are about done okay so before I do that I want to show you how I get off uh, stuck on stuff like this around the bowls this was oatmeal and you just take a scouring pad dip it twice into the water okay and then you just want to take it and I'm telling you like it gets it out without doing a lot of scrubbing and then you just take that rinse it like that and I set it right there and then I go in with my towel I took off my gloves because pausing the camera it's just so hard but I will be putting them back on when um, it's time to clean my stove see doing it with the towel it won't come out but if I take this oh wait that needs to sit a little longer so not yet So what are y'all ways of uh, washing dishes and things like that? Are they similar to mine or I would like to know because a lot of people do. A lot of people make their own soap. I used to make my own soap, but it's so time consuming, especially when, like today, I ran a ton of errands. I went to... Like four stores today, ran a ton of errands, and um, it became a uh, time consuming. Then trying to hurry up, come home, clean up, and put dinner on the stove. It's hard to, you know, make soap now. My kids are growing up. Can't can't be as frugal, you know, you gotta be fast, and so, yeah, so, I'll be back, okay, guys, I'm tired, I'm done, and I did everything but wipe off the um, counter doors, I didn't do that at all, I also... On my board up here, I put week of meals. Well, week one of meals. And then I put today, which is 11 5. Um, I put Alfredo for dinner because that's what we're going to be having. Um, I'm going to get around to it and put um, the whole week. I just haven't done it yet. Um, I did that today so the girls know. They know when something is written on that board to go see what it is. And they have an option. If they don't want Alfredo, they can have peanut butter and jelly. So, are you guys ready? So, here is the kitchen. Now, so I mopped the floor. Oh, mopped the floor. Um, my camera thing is still right there because... That's what I used to vlog on. I left it there, cleaned up the stove, wiped down the counters, and everything. If you guys seen before, you guys would cringe. I'm telling you. It was crazy. So, I'm going to clean the rest of the house up. And, um, yeah, then I'm going to start on dinner. And then we're having vegan Alfredo. So it's going to be just with some, um, whew, 
it's going to be just with some um, noodles, sauce, and we're going to have bread and salad for dinner tonight. So if you guys like how I clean my kitchen, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, let me know, I guess. And um, yeah, if you guys have any cleaning tips, it took me about 35 minutes to clean my entire kitchen. And I mean deep scrubbing about 35 minutes. And um, as you see, I had those pots filled up to the top. So I had to wash those down too. And uh, I put all the pots away. All the other dishes are out. I just didn't want my counter looking all bulky with all those pots hanging out. So yeah, everything is done. One time, probably like this month, I want to give my uh, oven a deep scrub. And um, yeah. So at the end of this, you guys will see before and after videos, side by side comparison until what it looked like then until now. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And I'm just trying to keep myself busy because I feel like I'm being depressed a little bit depressed so i'm just trying to keep myself busy by uh, cleaning my home getting things done i have to go do laundry as well as cleaning right now because the kids wear uniforms every day and they can get a little funky so i have to clean those and um yeah then after dinner we're gonna watch a couple movies and it is only 2 43 amazing so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye